What's up everybody? Today on my day off, we are heading to a little place that's hidden right off of US-1 down between, I'd say, St. Augustine and Palm Coast, Florida. And I discovered this place on an actual group that I'm in on Facebook. And it's called Princess Place Preserve. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I do know that supposedly the first in-ground swimming pool in Florida is back here. And I thought that sounded interesting. And it's fed by springs. So we're gonna go back here and check this out and see what it has to offer. So come along with us. All right, so to say this is off the beaten path might be an accurate statement. Dirt roads for a mile and a half at least. Be prepared to go get a car wash if you come back here because the dust is flying. Iger County Princess Place Reserve. Looks like there was a fire. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, a controlled burn. Now, here is a rarity in Florida. A covered bridge. You don't see that much around here. This is like true old Florida right here. So cool. Wow, that's pretty. There's even a little table you can over sit over there and have your lunch. got out by this bridge here. It's pretty cool this little picnic area. There's that cool covered bridge. Gotta watch out for gators. We're wandering too close here. Looks like way over there is a campground by the water. It's very calm and peaceful here. Got little crabs, how do you see them? Bunch of little crabs. I see them running. Here. All right, let's go check out the rest of this place. What a nice day. Nice breeze out here, sure. Okay, let's have a seat so I can tell you what we're doing and where we're at. Okay, I took a seat under this nice, big, beautiful oak tree. And I hate to get all Wikipedia on you, but I just want to tell you guys where we are and what we're looking at. So this is called the Princess Place Preserve with its rich history and 1,500 pristine acres. It attracts nature enthusiasts from near and far. It provides a glimpse of old Florida. Visitors here can take in its splendor while on one of the many hiking trails, fishing the salt marshes along the Mantasnas River, the Pelliker Creek, or camping out under the stars. The preserve is a popular spot for horse enthusiasts with an equestri equestrian campsite and plenty of trails that make it easy to embrace nature while enjoying a ride. 
This beautiful 1500 acre preserve is situated in the northern part of Flagler County. It was purchased by Henry Cutting in 1886 and passed on to his widow, Angela Mills Cutting Warden, who eventually married Boris Sherbatov, not sure if I'm saying that correctly, who was an exiled Russian prince. Angela assumed the title of princess and then it was once named the Cherokee Grove, what was once named the Cherokee Grove, came to be known as Princess Place. The original lodge built by Henry Cutting still stands as Flagler County's oldest intact structure. It is also home to Florida's very first in-ground swimming pool. It's really awesome. So let's go take a look at all these buildings and enjoy this history here. Where'd this guy come from? Look at this guy. Don't hurt it. That's a cool looking tree right here. There it is. Princess Place Estate. In 1791, the King of Spain offered an 1,100 acre land grant to Francisco Pellicer. Henry Mason Cutting purchased the property in 1886, renaming it Cherokee Grove, featuring local materials including tabby block cladding, cedar and palm tree trunk posts, and pink coquina. The Adirondack Camp Style Lodge was constructed in 1887. The complex included servants' quarters, a caretaker's house, tennis courts, stables, bathhouse, pool house, and the first in-ground concrete swimming pool in Florida. The lodge became an entertainment center for many socially prominent Americans and New York families as well as European royalty. Cutting died in 1892, leaving a widow, Angela Mills, Cutting, and two small children. Angela later remarried an exiled Russian prince, Boris Sherbatov, <laughs> a member of the Russian royal family. Because he feared for his life, the prince later changed the spelling to Sherbatov. <laughs> After <laughs> Prince Sherbatov died in 1949, the princess used the lodge as her primary residence for the reason it became known as the Princess Estate. In 1954, Princess Sherbatow sold the property to Lewis and Angela Wadsworth, one of the founding families of Flagler County. Flagler County purchased the property in 1993 as a preserve. And, and now we're going to go check out and see where all these New Yorkers came down to frolic in the wonderful Florida sunshine. Let's check it out. What's this? Ice house. There's the old ice house. That's where you keep the ice. Lots of awesome trees here. Yeah, I think if I was from New York or if I was really wealthy back in the 1800s, I'd enjoy coming to a place like this. It's pretty peaceful and awesome. Definitely. Probably just as it looked back then, too. Pretty much untouched, it looks like. I love the way the building looks. Very lodgy. Princess Angela, right there. Denied. <laughs> Looking into some of the bedrooms here. This is like a dream house. Yeah, those wood floors. I love the windows. Imagine waking up and just looking out in the water like that, the sun shining in. It's the kind of house I want. Yeah. Yeah. Like a dining area here? No, it's 
at 2 o'clock on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but I think we missed it. So we're just gonna have to be creepers and peer in the windows. It's probably the original furnishings. It's pretty awesome. The life. <laughs> Imagine waking up every morning and this being your view. I think I could deal with it. Oyster beds out there. Mm, I love that smell. Makes me want some food. <laughs> Side of that would be the ocean. It's like an old well right here. Yep. And right here is the first in ground swimming pool in Florida. Artisan fed. No swimming. This is fed by a spring. This is amazing. How cool is that? It remains 72 degrees year round because of the spring water. That just flows right out into the into the water. That's so cool. I mean, you got to stop and think about this. We're in Florida. Everyone's got a pool, right? This is the first pool in Florida. And imagine if you had come down here from the north, you're a rich socialite wintering in Florida, and you had this to go swimming in. How amazing would that be? I'm still just as impressed as they probably were. That's crazy. Look at that. It's the spring water feeding it. And over here, it's flowing out. It goes down into there. Crazy. It's pretty deep, like a normal. It kind of, there's actually has the stairs. And the stairs go down, and then it gets go to a deep end. Yeah, probably in the pool house. Where you put your 
swimming trunks on back in the day. Yeah. It's like a little wading pool part here, the shallow end. See the, the stairs, the original stairs. Just this guy. <laughs> there he is. You scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Almost had an emergency. <laughs> no more. No more. Look at my hair. You ain't got nothing in your hair. I feel creepy crawlies now. Okay. So watch out for creepy crawlies if you come here. Falling from the sky. There's a pool house. I was looking in here. It's pretty empty, but it's an old wood floor. And you got that other door right into the pool. Bathhouse. If you look right out the other side, you see the water. It's cool. This is looking at the pool from the other side. Over here we got a stable. Did you notice the names? Psyche, Chloe, Kate, Mac, Dude, and Belle. Caretaker, maybe? Ranger. Whoever it is, they got a nice view. check out the cottage sites. I don't know what they are or if you can rent them, but we're going to look and see. So there's one of the cottages. Like I said, I'm not sure if you can rent these, but if you could, what a cool place to stay. Out in the middle of nowhere. It's all pleasant right. and waterfront. I'm pretty sure you can probably rent them. And 
there's the third cottage. Have picnic tables and grills out there. Sounds like a perfect weekend. Morning, you may encounter alligators in the park around bodies of water. Do not attempt to feed or approach them. covered bridge over there that we were on earlier. Here at Princess. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Start over. All right, everybody. So that's it here at Princess Place Preserve. It's a really pretty park. I definitely advise coming and checking this out, especially if you're into old Florida or old, old Florida history. It's an amazing place to come and it's completely free. They do have a donation box as you exit the park just to help with the upkeep of the park, but it's definitely worth a drive out here. You can have picnics out here. There are actually cottages that you can rent. I checked on that. <laughs> so you can rent those and they're really reasonably priced. They're like $150 a night on the weekends, but they were booked up quite in advance. So just check on that if you're interested. But I think that's gonna be it. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time on our next adventure here on My Day Off. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.